Hey guys, how we doing today? Uh, I got asked the other day how to um, build backlinks to your Facebook page with Money Robot. Um, first of all, it is basically just another web page, uh, so you kind of do it the same way. Um, I'm going to show you some ideas here. You can also um, use citations to build up your social pages because all the citations actually they want to you know uh, basically put your social accounts on them so that's a backlink to every one of those citations so that's another idea that's just extra that's not a money robot thing but I am a marketing agency so we do citations and that gives you backlinks to all your different social. All right, so let's go to Sorry about that. I got everything up. I don't know what's going on there. Here we go. Here's the Facebook page. Now, I lost my account not too long ago and I lost these I lost like four or five pages I still see it's still up but like when I go to my account I can't edit it it's not in my profile anymore for some reason I don't know what happened but it does have some backlinks so I can show you a little bit about it um, so this is for my marketing agency and um, up here you know in your URL you just basically copy that link you're gonna need that and then you can click on services or maybe yours is products or something different but there's another URL right there and if you have a lot of reviews maybe you want to push that you can take that link and do the same um, there's other ones here you could you know do you know if you want to boost up your photos or your videos uh, you can click on one of those so that's a few links that you can have to uh, boost in money robot all right and um, you want to be congruent so you want to use these keywords here I think these were keywords the categories or something from YouTube because I don't know why I put internet marketing service in there. It really, it, it's kind of broad. You know, a marketing agency seems better. Web designer, it seems better. Uh, but it's probably a category in there or something. But anyway, you know, you want to be congruent. So you use these as keywords. All right. And then your services or your products, you want to use those keywords because they're on the on this page they're on this page and you're gonna boost you know any anytime you're doing like a blog post this is basically a blog post okay so when you're doing a blog post or a website you want to optimize what you're doing that's why we have blog posts because that way we can optimize one category or one keyword even though there there might be multiple keywords but they are related to that one keyword that is important anytime you do anything with money robot that's what it's about all right so let's go back to make sure oh let's check out right now how many links it has I did own this for I don't know maybe a year before it went out all right so there is a extension that you can get from Google Chrome it's called SEO quake you can put that up here so well, that's where it goes up there so we got a hundred and twenty thousand backlinks to a Facebook page Okay. Now, let's just, for the heck of it, see where 
we are ranking. All right, so. Okay, so here we are, page 19. All right, so I'm on page two, almost to the end. And that's without doing anything for, for at least a year. So if you really wanted to boost that, and you did, uh, you know, three or four or five campaigns, and some people asked, you know, how many campaigns do I have to do? And I, here's my answer. As many as you have to, till you get on top. You know, that's basically the answer. I don't know. It depends on the keyword. It depends on, um, you know, how com competitive it is. So you just do it until you're on top. All right. So there you go. It can be done. All right. So let's go back to here. So how are we going to do this? Well, those two, two URLs that we uh, got from Facebook, we're going to use those. All right. And then these are the keywords that we can use. Sorry I'm putting this up so big, but I've noticed when I put stuff up on the video, it doesn't look very big, and you guys probably can't see it, and I want to make sure that you can. Um, so I kind of put it as big as I can without getting ridiculous. All right. So basically what you're going to do is run a campaign. And if you are fairly new and your accounts are not very you don't have a lot of accounts say maybe three to six thousand and you're just starting you're fairly a newbie you want to pick a diagram that's smaller because if you pick a big diagram and you're building an account on that it's going to take days all right so w when you're building up your account you should probably use a smaller type um, diagram and I'll show you one that you could really probably use and get away with and it probably will still take a day but you know at least you're building accounts to get them you know built up if you don't you know you need to have 20 30 thousand of accounts and when you're starting out that's hard to do I mean you want to get moving and it takes days and days and days so you know especially if you're using your computer and not a um, VPN um, anyway um, all right so let me show you maybe a diagram you can use this one three twelve that's a good one to start out with you can build up accounts with that one, or if you want to use the one, two, three uh, social, um, you can use that one. That'll give these blogs while get indexed a little faster with the social bookmarks. So those two right there are the ones that I would build accounts for. So. Basically, it's going to build you blogs. It's going to build you some social bookmarks and some uh, social accounts. All right. That will probably take a good day, but it's better than trying to build a super big one, something like that, or. something like that that's going to take a ton of time because here's what slows everything down is the email and you know going through the registering everything that's what slows things down once that is all done then it it goes faster 
I'm not saying it's go, gonna go super super fast but it goes really quick so if you noticed I had this one on this is an indexer it indexes uh, say you do a campaign you can run this through uh, your old URL through this and I got three of these done yesterday before oh, I don't know before 8 o'clock at night and I started about uh, 12 and I got three of these run yesterday it's said they run fairly quick but this is just an indexer so you want you want to do your blogs you know what you want to do everything that I had just showed you you want these you want social and you can change it up and use this one and do that one use those to build you up at least 3,000 and then start from there and then if you build one of these bigger ones not everyone will have to have an email you might run across you know where one isn't done or, or, or you know so many of them aren't uh, done and they need to be registered then it's cool it still doesn't take as long as doing the whole thing and registering every account all right so that's what slows it down all right let's get back to it the next thing I want to show you is how you can embed your Facebook page uh, link on other stuff that you do say say you have another website and you're doing it for that you can always you know when you're doing a blog post you always try to put your social links at the bottom right so why can't you do that with money robot um, so what I do is I put I usually use my uh, YouTube channel because that's more important to me right now uh, especially since I can't get into this account to build it up to build links to it and I do it just like I'm going to show you how to do this Facebook thing all right so here's the link completed all right the link completed I'm gonna blow this up so you can see it all right so this is my Facebook URL and keyword means you can put anything in there come see my Facebook you can actually put a keyword in there if you want um, but you can put anything in this keyword a little phrase or a keyword or keywords you know say you have three products they're fairly close together and we can spin text them now if you don't spin text stuff you really need to and you're going to use money robot you spend all this money on money robot then you need to learn how to spin text and I've done this through other videos but I'm going to do it again because like I said you can't really see it as well as I would have liked you to see it so I'm going to do it bigger here all right so here's our URLs our keywords here is how you can put two URLs together this is really easy all right so basically what I did this is the code to hyperlink it oh actually it's that too that's the code well that's part of that's the first part of the uh, code to hyperlink it then I put my first uh, URL in I put a line which is right there by the enter um, enter key in the middle of the keyboard put a line I put my second URL in I actually added this curly bracket you can see 
put the line to separate them end it with the curly bracket here is the last part of the code right here see it always has to see how that begins and this one ends all right then you can put your keywords in there same thing here's a smaller version of it all right so that's the front part of the code and that's the back now we want to say say you only had one URL URL in there and you wanted three keywords so you spin text the keywords same way keyword line keyword line keyword curly bracket then you have to end it this is the end part of this you end it just like that that's it guys it's very easy to do but let me tell you this as a little warning if you forget maybe so I just copy it I would just copy something like that and you could write that all down stop the video write that down you could do the same thing with the URL I'll do it for you in case you want to write that down curly bracket curly bracket straight line URL Whoop, no space URL all right and then you don't have to end with the uh, wait you don't have to end with a line all right you end with the curly bracket so that's basically the code and you could take that and use that all the time all right so you can put more keywords if you don't have but one keyword you don't need the curly curly brackets you just use this one that one and that one all right the, this this opens and this closes it and then this opens the whole phrase and this closes the whole phrase all right fairly easy you need to do that it's need to spin, learn how to spin text a little bit anyway and you know basically the URLs and the keywords it, it will make your campaigns a lot better now some people just use one keyword and one URL that's fine too you can do that uh, but I generally when I do it's just like I, I think about it as a blog post so when I'm doing a blog post I always put photos and videos and and links to other things you know all these things so we're putting say most of my things uh, most of my campaigns I'll put a link to my YouTube channel I'll put a link to some kind of video and I'll put a link to uh, whatever I'm trying to promote or whatever I'm trying to do and I also put a link back to maybe yesterday's campaign you know I, I've showed you how to do that in other videos too so check out my videos um, I'm pretty sure that's all I need to tell you about that just think of Facebook as another website alright guys I appreciate you I hope you got some um, knowledge out of this I hope it helped you out and I'll see you on the next one